Hello, greetings and salutations. I have a cool high gain distortion pedal to show you guys from a new company that I just discovered called Cool Music. Stick around, check this out. That's correct. I was surfing the internet, uh, and uh, you know, in, in particular Amazon, just kind of seeing what's out there, and I stumbled across this brand of pedals that I had never heard of called uh, Cool Music, and you know, they have basically a whole line of pedals. They've got the this is the high gain, uh, what they call the insane distortion. Uh, they have another uh, another distortion pedal. And I think they have like a multi overdrive pedal uh, as well as a there's a chorus and a delay and a reverb and I think there's a fuzz pedal there's a whole line of them uh, and you know they they're all you know really really affordable so because I was curious I did some digging on them and uh, decided to check out see if anybody had some YouTube videos up and sure enough my new favorite guitar channel called Guitar Max actually has a demo on it if you're not familiar with uh, Guitar Max or Max's channel uh, his name is Max uh, you ought to go check out his channel, especially if you like this channel, because, you know, he and I are actually seem to be a lot alike, uh, with the exception of the fact that he's got a very full head of hair. Uh, you know, he is really, really in shape, and he is a really, really, really good guitar player. But beyond that, we're like totally alike. Totally, totally alike. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell us apart. Uh, but anyway... Uh, Max likes to demo, uh, you know, he likes to demo gear that uh, really that anybody can get their hands on. So, you know, he, uh, he, you know, his demo of this pedal sounded really, really good. So I decided, especially for the 35 bucks or so, I think that this thing costs on Amazon, I would give it a try. So let's give this thing a listen. Thank you. 
So that is what she sounds like. Let's have a quick uh, closer look at it. You know, here, as you can see, there is the pedal itself. Uh, you know, basically your standard stomp box, standard size stomp box pedal. Uh, of course, you have your standard level and gain controls and tone control right there in the middle. Uh, and the, you know, the, uh, these two little knobs right here that you, I'm sure you saw when they were fully illuminated, uh, that is the, those are the, those are the money, those are the money, money controls, uh, the, 
fat, uh, I'm sorry, the base boost here, and then the fat boost over on this side. The base boost obviously is a low end boost, and the fat boost is uh, for mid range. You know, I act, I found actually, and it's hard to see when it's not plugged in, or even when it is plugged in, I guess kind of difficult to see where they're at but i found that cranked both of those controls cranked all the way up seems to be uh what sounded the best for me at least in uh in my setups really the setup that you're looking at right now that is those are pretty much the controls uh the you know where it was set in the uh track demo that you just heard uh you know i knew of course it, it is a, a very very thin pedal you know and i and i knew that i knew that going in uh so you know I, my concern with it though was that it was going to feel kind of cheap and lightweight uh because of that and really it doesn't you know it actually feels really really solid uh especially for how thin it is uh the knobs feel pretty good you know i think they could probably stand to be a little bit tighter but uh you know for the most part they seem to feel pretty good they don't feel like they're going to break off uh you know good good feeling switch nice solid feeling switch there actually standard nine volt uh nine volt input you know there's no battery door on this thing at all so it's nine volt ac or bust on this pedal so no batteries uh you are going to need to run it on nine volt but uh that's not you know isn't a big deal for most people you know and last but not least probably the coolest feature about it is the green leds that uh you know you don't see them right now because it's not plugged in but uh as you did see them in the demos you know, the green LEDs, I think, are really, really cool. Every single knob on here lights up. And then, of course, there's a great big green LED that surrounds the switch. Very, very, very useful on a dark stage or in a dark studio or any other uh, low-lit environment that you might be using this thing in. Very, very handy. Uh, so, yeah, I like it. You know, the uh, one thing I noticed, the tone control can get away from you in a real big hurry. It, uh, it's, it gets really, really trebly, which is why I ran mine at about 9 o'clock. Uh, you know, I found you know running my tone control at about nine o'clock and the fat boost and the and the bass boost actually all the way up uh, was really you know in my opinion was the best setting. So at least it was through my uh, through my through the the stuff that I was using it through. You know that could obviously is going to vary for various different individuals. <laughs> Plenty of gain to be had. Uh, you know it uh, one thing is surprise the gain does not flub out. You know, it doesn't, with a lot of high gain pedals, you know, when you get up, you know, particularly that, you know, start getting up past that one or two o'clock range and you really start to crank it up and get really, really saturated. Uh, it seems most high gain pedals seem to get really, really muddy. And this one didn't really seem to do that. Uh, even turned all the way up, you know, you could still hear plenty of, uh, you know, plenty of note definition and, uh, you know, really not too, too much noise. I still found, you know, for my purposes, uh, you know, where I like the lower gain settings a little bit better for what I like to do nowadays. I also found that with the, the fat boost control actually makes it a really, really versatile pedal. You know, you can use it as a as a really, really high gain uh, rock type of distortion, you know, kind of what I like, you know, or you can scoop that, you know, scoop that thing all the way down and, uh, you know, do the scoop mid, uh, the scoop mid high gain metal tone uh that uh, a lot of people really really enjoy as well and i do i've said this i said this in another video here recently even though it's you know it's not that's not the most practical tone in the world uh for like a full band setting or recording setting or something like that i do still think it's a lot of fun to mess with just met goofing around in the bedroom you know by yourself so so yeah you know for 35 bucks i think it's a great value i think it's really really well made uh and you know provided nothing shorts out on it goes crazy or anything like that you know it does seem to have really really good reviews uh from a lot of people on amazon uh who have purchased this thing and took the plunge like i did so yeah you know if you're looking for uh, a you know a high gain distortion pedal uh for not a lot of money you should definitely check out the insane distortion from cool music i will post links to this pedal and all of the other gear used in this video down in the description as always please don't forget to do the like share subscribe -y thing there at the very very bottom down in the corner and all that stuff you know where they're at and thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video